What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another Meet the Fleet and behind me we have our 86 Ford LT9000. Um, my boss bought this truck out of Minnesota and he had it shipped here, well trailered. And, um, you know, we got the truck and we started playing with it and making some upgrades and repairs. And then we put it on the road and she went to work. And she went right to work for maybe, I want to say six months um since you know it's been no question she just goes to work and she does what she got to do um we did have a couple a couple things go go down along the way things we had to fix um we put a radiator in it and a clutch fan and i think that's about it as far as like breakdowns go um we did have to change the battery box um that was an issue and we put new tires on it when he got it but uh, other than just the straight pipe and the aluminum wheels, um, that's really about it. Pretty simple stuff. We put the headache rack on it and the pin will hook in the back also. But uh, yeah, um, it's been a real good truck to us. It has a 315 Cummins and an Eaton 10 speed. It does have a PTO setup. But uh, yeah, I figured I'll start it off for you guys. It hasn't ran all day, so somewhat of a cold start. Um, the interior was pretty rough when we got it and we haven't done much to it other than put a seat in it. So bear with me on that. It is kind of rough in here. Like I said, it was, uh, I want to, not abused, but it was, it was worked to say the least. Um, key there, get some fuel. This one, it starts right up usually. So from what we uh, could figure out with the truck, it seems to have come from some kind of blacktop plant. Uh, it was Minnesota Hot Mix. Uh, if any of you guys are familiar with the company, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, I would assume it was a site truck there, you know, maybe at their local quarry or blacktop plant. The truck only had like 84,000 miles when we got it. I think now it's up around like 92 or 94, I forget. It's probably in the video you guys might have just saw it. But it's somewhere like 94,000 or something. But um, yeah, like, and it, it shows, like the motor sounds really healthy, it runs really well. Um, but yeah, I don't know what they used it for, what they did with it, but it does us good. Um, we run it a few hundred miles a day, and it's never left me anywhere. Um, we, I think we changed the fuel lines as well, um, but that's about it. I mean, other than that, it just went to work. Like I said, we just tried to make it nice. I buffed the paint, put the straight pipe on it, the aluminum wheels, and that was about it. I will put some before pictures in there. Uh, we did change the bumper because that was hit when we got it, and uh, we just took the bumper off the blue truck when we got a new one for that. So, yeah, I'll try to put some before and after pictures for you guys so you can check it out. And then, uh, you know, just as I did the Mac, I let this thing warm up for quite a while. And then I actually have to move it anyway. So I'll give you guys a little uh, show of what it sounds like. Um, it sounds pretty good for what it is. It's just got the five inch straight on there. Uh, sounds good. So yeah, once I get ready to move this thing, I will get back to you guys then.
45 minutes or so now. So I figured I'd give you just a little bit. So yeah, 94,000 miles. Get a little rev. Okay, so the RPM gauge works sometimes. I guess today's not pretty. Yeah, no, that was mile per hour. Either way, RPM is uh, still not working. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much uh, how that works. episode of Meet the Fleet, you'll be meeting Blue LTL, so stay tuned for that. I think that, that'll probably be that one and the arm model, probably the two highlights, so yeah, see you guys then. Thanks for watching.